Workers of the Trinidad and Tobago Postal Corporation protested outside the company's head office in Piaco. They call on management to adhere to the industrial relations practices of this country. The workers claim their working conditions are in violation of the practices and better must be done. Marie Hull reports. These postal workers say they are fed up of not being provided with the necessary tools needed to carry out their jobs. On Tuesday, outside their head office in Piaco, TT Post workers came out in their numbers to display their dissatisfaction. Motor scooter riders have to be working day in, day out and doubling up on motor scooters in the southern areas of this country. There are no bags for workers at this point in time. There are no umbrellas that is sufficient to supply the workers in terms of the rainy season. The rainy season has gone and a number of the delivery officers out there would have worked through, would have worked through the, the rainy season without umbrellas. Uniforms, the image of the corporation must be upheld and we are not seeing that the management is really trying to deal with it. The General Secretary of the Postal Workers Union, David Forbes, addressed safety concerns. Right now the crime situation in Trinidad and Tobago is not good at all. And we have a number of workers going into high-risk areas to work without proper uniform. They are wearing normal um, civilian clothing at home, what, what they normally use at home. And here it is, right, the management of TT Post has an obligation to provide uniform and safe working conditions for the workers, and yet we can't see that up to now. Mr. Forbes said the union is once again requesting dialogue with their management to address the workers' concerns. He said discussions took place with the Minister of Public Utilities, Fitzgerald Hines, earlier this year, but to date, they have not been answered. We would have had a number of employees just recently, within the last two weeks, resigning from TT Post. And that says a lot. Even the general manager of human resources who only lasted two months here in the corporation, who, were, in our um, belief, would have come as a public servant to try and help the HR division in TT Post. And she was, in our view, she was um, literally shoved out the door. Standing in solidarity with the workers, president of the joint trade union movement, Ansel Ruji, said the management needs to address the workers' concern before serious action is taken. Mr. Forbes, however, is assuring that workers will return to work on Wednesday. Marie Hall, Seniors. Seniors contacted the communications manager of TT Post for a comment on the issues raised during the protest. We were, however, directed to the general manager of TT Post, George Alexis. Calls to Mr. Alexis went unanswered.